In the world of AI, one model has transformed our understanding of language processing, the transformer model. Introduced in a paper titled, Attention is All You Need, written in 2017 by Ashish Vazwani and others from Google Brain and the University of Toronto. The transformer model is a revolutionary approach in AI, especially in natural language processing. It has revolutionized AI development and is at the core of chatbots like ChatGPT and others. But it's not without its limitations. So let's dive in. What makes the transformer model so special? Unlike traditional models, transformers use attention mechanisms to process entire sequences simultaneously. This parallel processing allows for remarkable efficiency and effectiveness in handling language. At its core, the transformer uses self-attention, evaluating each word in relation to others in a sentence. Coupled with positional encoding, it understands word order, capturing the context effectively. Let's unpack that. These are the core concepts of transformers. Transformers are based on a mechanism of attention, which enables the model to focus on different parts of the input data. This is useful in tasks like language translation, where context from both the current and preceding words is crucial. Transformers consist of an encoder and a decoder. The encoder processes the input data, like a sentence in the source language, and generates a context-sensitive representation of it. The decoder takes the encoder's output and generates the target data, like a translated sentence. So what are the advantages of transformers over the recurrent neural networks and others? Well, first we have parallelization. Unlike RNNs and LSTMs, which are long short-term memory networks, transformers process entire sequences simultaneously, making them highly parallelizable and efficient in training. Then we have their handling of long-range dependencies. They can handle long-range dependencies in text much better than earlier sequence models. RNNs would end up forgetting the context as the input text got longer. Then we have flexibility. Transformers can be adapted for a wide range of tasks beyond just translation. The obvious one and the one that we're most familiar with is text generation. Then we have summarization and question answering. Let's talk about the later development of transformers. First one we should talk about is BERT, aka bidirectional encoder representations from transformers. Developed by Google, BERT advanced the field by focusing on bidirectional text. And then the one we're most familiar with are GPTs, Generative Pre-trained Transformer, which is a series of models created by OpenAI, designed for a variety of language understanding and generation tasks. Transformers sound perfect, but are they? What are the limitations of the transformer model? Despite its strengths, the transformer faces challenges. It demands significant computational resources, requires vast data for optimal performance, and risks overfitting on smaller datasets. Handling very long sequences also remains computationally intensive. Then we have the black box nature of transformers, which raises the questions of interpretability. It's hard to understand how it came up with its answer. It's kind of like trying to figure out what's on somebody's mind. You could take a guess, but do you really know? And then we have the environmental impact which cannot be ignored. The energy intensive training of large models contributes to a larger carbon footprint. It takes a lot of power to run some of these chatbots at scale. So what does this mean about AGI or ASI, which is Artificial General Intelligence or Artificial Super Intelligence? While transformers have advanced the field of AI, we won't likely reach AGI or ASI until the issues of computational resources like GPUs, TPUs, and all the other types of PUs needed are created at scales large enough for network data centers like the $50 billion investment Microsoft said it's making, and the energy requirements to train and process prompts for millions and billions of people worldwide, which probably means we need nuclear fusion. Yeah, you did hear there was a breakthrough there too, right? So yeah, we have some time before our AI overlords take over and transform our society with their next generation transformer models. So the AI we have today is helpful. It's advancing. And from its seamless machine translation to sophisticated AI writing assistance, transformers are the driving force behind today's cutting edge language applications. The transformer model isn't just an advancement. It's reshaping AI's future. And in essence, our future. And that's the transformer model explained.